In this WordPress tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add an image slider to your WordPress website, whether that's inside your posts and your articles, or maybe adding a nice slideshow at the top of your main homepage. I'm gonna show you how to do this quickly and easily with a free plugin. Let's check it out. Quick reminder to check out the links in the video description below, including the training I owe all my success to create your free starter account and get me as your support coach. What's up YouTube, Eric from workfromyourlaptop.com here. Utilizing an image slider is a great way to feature and showcase different images within your posts, within your articles, but also if you wanted to add an image slider or a slideshow to the top of your main homepage of your website, it's a great way to kind of show your audience what your website is all about. Now originally I had created this tutorial for Inside Wealthy Affiliate, but now I want to share it with my YouTube audience as well. Let's get right into it. What's up Wealthy Affiliate? Time for some WordPress wisdom. I was asked yesterday, I use Generate Press. How can I add an image slider to the top of my site? So here we are inside WordPress at our WordPress uh, back office, our dashboard. If we go to plugins and add new plugin, if right here I type in slider, it'll give me all kinds of different options for different plugins, for sliders, carousels, galleries. You can choose whichever one of these suits you the best. And all you gotta do is click on one and it'll open up uh, some of the details, show you some reviews, screenshots, what have you. I, for this little video tutorial, chose this one, Meta Slider. And when you activate this, it gives you this little menu item right here that I'm gonna click on. I'm gonna click on Add New Slideshow. And then right here on Add Slide, I'm gonna go ahead, I have these little sample images uh, already kind of in my photo gallery uploaded. I'm gonna make this a three slide, a three image slideshow. And without going into too much detail about all the different features here, you have plenty of customizable little things. You can have the, the caption showing, you can decide if you want to type in something yourself or leave it blank, what have you. You have different effects you can put on this. I'll have this be a slide, like a slideshow as opposed to fading in. You even have carousel mode. All this looks good to me. I'm going to save this, and then with this particular uh, plugin, it gives me a short code. Now all I gotta do in this case, I'm gonna, it says click to copy short code. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna show you two different ways. If you want to just insert this into a post and then also, which is the original question was how can you have this at the top of a page? But as you can see right here in this little sample post, I'm gonna use the custom HTML block. I'll paste that short code in, a little FYI. When you use short code, on an HTML block, you can't preview it. It'll just show you that same shortcode. You think, oh, I did something wrong. You didn't do anything wrong at all. This is specific to shortcode. All you gotta do is just go to the main preview in new tab. And as you can see right there, there is my slider sliding away. If I hover on it, it'll pause. You can also notice it'll show the arrows to where I could go back and go towards all three, what have you. That would be if you want to insert a little slider or a gallery or a carousel or a gallery right inside your post. But uh, the other member, what he asked actually was how can I add this to the top? of my site. So in that case, you would probably want to go to your, uh, if you have a static page, you'd want to go to that page. I have a little sample page here set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, custom HTML block. Now you notice here, actually let me back out of this really quick. You notice here, I have, there's different page attributes. I have set it up, instead of the default, I've set it up to no sidebars. I've set up the container to full width. I'll actually disable the content title. And by doing that, when I paste this, you can see it gives that desired effect that this member was asking a nice full width uh, slider. And of course you can adjust this and customize it. You can slide away. You can. This would be kind of cool to have at the very top of your main page. Always uh, be sure to check out your, your site speed, see how different things, the more features you have, it can affect that. But 
Uh, as you can see, long story short, that is a very simple way using a pretty simple plugin uh, on how to add a slider to the top of your page. There you have it. I'll be adding a ton of these quick WordPress tutorials to a special playlist on my channel called WordPress Wisdom. You can check that out. As always, I hope you will like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments section from workfromyourlaptop.com. My name's Eric. I'll see you next time.